Wow, oh my god. Wow, this is so professionally wrapped. <gasps> no way. Howdy friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Luke and today we got a box swap. So stay tuned for more. Today we got a box swap. This is a huge box swap. I believe there's 12 channels. I'll link everyone's channel down in the description. This was hosted by Disney Mertz. I'll leave his info right over here. Basically the way it worked is there was 12 channels and we each randomly got assigned another channel. Then we submitted our preferences and Nicholas secretly shared them with each of us. I do wanna say a big shout out to him because he was super helpful when it came to like questions or if there were specific things I needed clarification. He was always really quick to respond. So big shout out to Disney Mertz. Thank you so much. This is so exciting. This was my first official box swap, even though I know I've posted one on the channel already. This one was going on since before that. So my first official box swap that I was involved in, second official box swap posted, if that makes sense. But let's kind of jump in. So my box swapper, the person who sent me my box was the Bryrock75. I'll leave his info right over here as well. Throughout this, we've become quite friendly, so I'm really excited to see what items he curated for me. To be honest with you, I've had this box for like probably a month, just kind of stashed away. And Lizette last night was like, I don't know how you've waited an entire month without opening. She, <laughs> she actually tried to get me to film it last night so she could see what was in it, but we just ran out of time. All right, so let's dive into this behemoth of a box. <laughs> it's giant and so heavy. Let me kind of show you around first. How about that? So we got some wonderful little stickers on the front. We've got open here, keeping the magic alive, and all this lovely wrapping paper. Let's cut in and see. It's like Christmas. I'm so excited. This is like real Christmas. A lot of wrapping. It smells lemony. Brian, do you use pine saw at home? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and everything's wrapped even. Oh boy. Struggling. So first we got some foozles. I'm gonna try to contain those as much as possible. So that was now a giant mess. Yeah, I don't even know where to start. I'll just kind of pull one out. Wow. Let's pull one out and we'll go in. I'm so excited. All right, first up. Fun fact, my dad is like a pro at shaking presents and finding out what's in there. One time we tried to trick him and put like something in a different box in a weird tin and he still guessed it. I'm like, either he's snooping or he's like a psychic. I don't know. Ooh. All right, so we got a little, we got a little stocking box. Let's open it up. I don't even know it could be in here. Wow, this is so professionally wrapped. All right, we'll start here, because I think I know this one. I think I know what this is. One of the categories is a mug. So based on this shape, I'm gonna assume it's a mug. Let's see what kind. Oh, how nice. Okay, all right, all right. We got a little Atlas mug here with Cheshire on the back. And according to this little side piece, it's like a thermal, it's like a thermal mug. So let me kind of show you up close. You look here, depending on the temperature, it changes the picture. So how fun is that? As some of you who follow the channel may know, I'm a huge Alice fan, potentially my favorite movie, Disney movie. So this is just perfect. Thank you so much, Brian. I feel like I'm gonna thank him like 18 times. So maybe I'll save the thanking to the end. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is just like a film that you pull off so that way it gives you the directions, but it's actually just like a dark cup until Aha, uh -huh, until you use it. How fun. Okay, cool. So we got Alice on this side, then we got Cheshire on this side. You can see it's just his face, and then as it warms up, more of the scene is revealed. So how fun. What a great cup. And then on the inside, you can see that. On the inside it says, stay curious. So perfect, already speechless. Already speechless one item in. God, this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> All right, so next from this little box, we got a shirt. Let's see what it is. How perfect. Okay, shoes and chips and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. Fun fact, and I didn't say this to Brian at all, nor did I put it by preferences, The Walrus and the Carpenter is probably my one of my favorite songs in that movie because as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, I have a tendency to fall asleep quite early always when I watch a movie. So I've seen that scene probably like 150 times. So this is just spot on. Plus what I really like is it's not too frilly. Like it's not, 
in your face Disney, which I mean, obviously Spirit Jersey, whatever, I don't really care, but it's kind of like incognito Disney. So this will be great for like around the office or if I have something more like less Disney, more professional to do, I can still kind of rock some Disney behind the scenes. So this is so perfect. All right, we got another little box in a box. So this is like those little Russian dolls. Let's see what we got here. Maybe an ornament. I think it's an ornament. Definitely looks like an ornament. So let's cut her open. Oh, oh look at this guy. So you got the doorknob from the beginning of the movie as well. So wow, what, wow, this is nice quality. Once again, how perfect. I'm sensing a theme, so it's just perfect because I love Alice, easy peasy. So you got him and he goes, oh, and then just regular doorknob guy. So what a cute ornament. This is from the sketchbook, co sketchbook collection, ornament collection from Shop Disney, I think. So if any of you love Alice as much as I do, check out Shop Disney, maybe they have it in stock. Next, we got this little one. It's quite hefty. I don't know what this could be. I'm drawing a blank on what all, what all the categories were because I'm just like flustered with excitement but let's just find out. He did a really good wrapping job too. Brian, A plus on the wrapping job. Oh, we got a candle, our own candle company. As you can see, I like candles. We got one over there, one over there. So let's, let's see what's inside. Our own candle company, a Christmas candle, Cinnaberry Balsam Winter Wonderland. How cool. Okay, so this is cool because not only is it like in a mason jar, you see that? So not only is it in a mason jar, it's like multicolored. So I'm assuming they're those three flavors I, I lifted off. It's like the Cinnaberry, Balsam, and Winter Wonderland. As you go through, they probably smell different. So very fun. Let's smell it. Mmm. I, I can see the cinna the cinnaberry. So I'm getting mostly berry, but there is like a hint of cinnamon. Kind of, it just adds a little a little Christmas in the background. I'm not a huge like overwhelming. You know, some people have like those cinnamon candles for the holidays. While nice, I would never have one of those strictly in my house. I like that this one is a blend of like berry and cinnamon. So it kind of gives you like berry cobbler vibes or something. I'm gonna have to bust this out and start burning it soon. As Soon as this one kind of dies, this is gonna replace it. So thank you so much. Next is the stocking. This is another item. It's stocking stuffed with treats. So I did mention that I follow a plant-based diet in my, I don't know why I did this like in the description. I did mention in my, um, and my preference is that I, I follow plant-based diets and then, and Nicholas did confirm. So I know that there should hopefully be some plant-based goodies in here, but what a cute stocking with Mickey. I actually don't have a stocking. So this, not that there's much Christmas going on, but maybe I'll have to get into the Christmas spirit now. See what kind of goodies are inside. Got Ferro Rero Rocher, got Imperial Nuts Power Blend, Salted Walnuts, Pistachios, Filberts, I've never heard of those. Peanuts and salted almonds, so yum. We got Sour Patch Kids, every vegan's favorite snack. Oh, these are Christmas color, that's fun. Red and green soft chewy candy. We got a huge candy cane. This is the biggest candy cane I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, it's like a candy cane cigar. I feel some more candy canes in here. Oh, look at these. These are, ooh, they're Warheads candy canes, so those are tasty. Love me some sour, some sour stuff, so this is gonna be perfect. Got quite a few of those. And then what's in here? Premium chocolate, delit luscious, decadent, smooth, and creamy. How fun. It's always fun. And then. Oh, yum. This is like a fruit mix. So I can take these with the nuts. We got like bananas and blueberries in here. So I can take these, mix them with the nuts, and make like a trail mix. So. Next time I go hiking, I'm definitely gonna bring these. This box is like never ending. I don't know what the heck else. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. All right, so this one will be next. No idea what this could be. Right, so we got another little box here. Let's see what resides inside. So we got some clothing. <gasps> no way. Look at this. Okay, this is a... Sword in the Stone Spirit Jersey. So look at this. We got the Sword in the Stone over here. Can you see that? We got the Sword in the Stone over here. And then on the back, it says Merlin. 
How cool is that? I have never seen a Sword in the Stone Spirit Jersey type shirt, so you know next time I go into the park, I'm definitely gonna wear this. Brian, you are too much. You just spoiled me too much. I, how can how can we even top this? You know, honestly, when I saw the t-shirt, I thought that was the, the shirt. I wasn't expecting another one. So it's like a twofer, how great. Next up, we got this. It feels postery, if I had to guess. But so far I've been wrong on like everything I guessed, so I'm probably wrong, but let's see what's inside. Seems postery, what do we got? Oh, whiz bang wizard of whimsy. Look at that. So this looks like a print from the original movie poster potentially, because it has kind of the information down below. Or, oh, okay. So it looks like this was, it says re-release down the bottom. So maybe this is a poster for the re-release, but how cool is this? The sword in the stone in Technicolor. This is, wow, I have to get, now I have to get a frame for this. This is great. And it's like high quality. It's like a, on a nice photo paper. Killing it, Bri, killing it. That, wow, that's, wow. Chef's kiss. So as I was digging through, I found a card. I was wondering, he's, he, he like sends cards to just pin mail. So I was like, there's gotta be a card in here. You know, it was at the very bottom. So maybe, maybe I opened it upside down. I don't know. It's very possible I opened it upside down. I wasn't fully paying attention. So <laughs> let's open this up and see what's inside. Got a, oh, we got a little Mickey here. His little social popped out. So let me show you this. So you can kind of see, this is Brian's channel, his Instagram and his YouTube. We got a little QR code guy in the back. Must be for TikTok, maybe? I don't know. I'm not hip to all the social media, so. All right, so surprise, it's Brian Lee, Brywax75. It's been so wonderful getting to shop for you and to send you some holiday cheer. I've enjoyed getting to, getting to know you and becoming a friend during this journey. I hope you have the most wonderful holiday season and enjoy your box of goodies. Love, Brian. Merry Christmas. P.S. The small box wrapped with leather is from The Grinch. He put coal in your stocking, but I swapped it for something less dirty. The Grinch, we had to do a little Grinch gag gift, so that must be what that little box is down below. But what a nice card. I gotta add this to my growing holiday card collection. But let's open up the next box. I have no idea what this could be. No idea. There's a wooden box inside. How cool, it's this box that says it's always tea time. And these actually are the original Alice in Wonderland illustrations from the book. I should have the book over on my shelf. It looks like it was wood burned in the top. Maybe this doesn't smell so good. Oh, and there's mystery pins inside. I was not expecting that. Okay, we're gonna have to save those for another, open, another, another time. I was not expecting that. Good for like organizing little things. I'm, I'm not sure what I'll put in here yet, but I'm gonna put it kind of over here in this area. Awesome, this is so this is so unique. I would have never guessed this. So this is this is really cool. This is like overwhelming. I'm like sweating. <laughs> like so overwhelmed with joy. All right, let's dive into the last one. The last one is this cute little package from the Grinch. This is what smells. <laughs> we got some Dr. Squatch's natural soap. Okay, so that's that smell I was smelling. So it's called pine tar. So it has that kind of pine, like that pine saw smell I was describing, but not in a bad way, in like a lemony, piney way. It's good. How cool. I wonder if this, I don't know where this would be from. Maybe this is a, one of the, another small shop item, but this is great because I love sustainability and this is just like a bar of soap and it's made from like super all natural ingredients. So this is great. I'm gonna put this in my shower. I'm gonna start using it tomorrow. Now I know why he said less dirty. I get it. It's like, you know, less dirty because it's clean because it's soap. Wow, I just, I have no words. I am just so grateful. Thank you so much, Brian, for all the wonderful gifts. You nailed it, you hit it out of the park. It was so well curated for me, even down to the soap. Even down to the soap, I think it smells delicious. Even though it's like a gag gift, I still, I think it's great. So, wow. <laughs> no words, speechless. What, do you, what did you guys think of this box? What, what was your favorite item? How do you think Brian did? Let me know in the comments down below. Yes, the categories were like gag gift from the Grinch, shirt or hoodie, spirit jersey or long sleeve, small shop gift, candle, snacks with a stocking, what else? Ornament, a pin I think. Maybe, I don't remember exactly, but man, that was just so special. Really brought some joy to my Christmas season. Thank you so much, Brian. And then if you guys wanna see who I gave a box to, it was the Disney Duo. So I'll leave their information right over here. Mel and Nash over the Disney Duo. I also had a lovely time shopping for them. It was kind of like, 
secretly getting to know them through their videos and through the um, preferences. So I had such a fun time putting their box together too. So go over to their channel, check it out. I'll also link all the channels down below who are involved in this box swap. So you can kind of check out everyone's video together. But wow, I just, I have no words. This is just so special. So honored to be a part of this. Thank you so much, uh, Nicholas, for putting this together. Thank you so much, Brian, for the wonderful box. And thank you so much to all the other channels that were involved. It's such a lovely event. If you liked what you saw today, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe with notifications on so you stay in the loop when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon. Place is a disaster area. One magical day. Alrighty, friends. <clears throat> I already said that like eight times. I don't know if I can give you all those details. I do have to say, definitely upstage me on the wrapping paper. My wrap job was pathetic <laughs> compared to this. See what flavor it is, or scent, I guess, but. Any of you call scents flavors? Let me know in the comments down below. Am I the only weirdo who does that? There's like an absolute mess on the floor because I'm just like chucking stuff.